you. What up? All right. Um, so uh, we got one from Jimmy Carr. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Don't know too much about Jimmy Carr. Yeah. Yeah. This is our first time checking him out. Ah, it's the first time for us here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Jimmy. What we got? This is obese children in the rainforest. Obese children in the rainforest. Mm. Is that possible? You know, I watched the show alone, and most people that are in the wilderness, living that way, they lose weight quickly. Exactly. So I'm gonna say that you know there shouldn't be too many obese children just running around. Doing, doing one the now, force obese is different from fat. Like fat, you know what I'm saying is you know what I'm saying, but obese, like isn't obese like? No, obese is is well, I mean, obese is you are you are you are overweight. For your height and your weight, which makes you obese, I believe. Okay, so I obese believe. isn't like my six hundred pound life or some shit. I mean, those are obese people because definitely they are yeah. way more than their height and weight. But I, yeah, I said, you know, I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How can you get big in the rainforest? What are you eating? <laughs> yeah, I eat everything in the rainforest. I don't know. Dude. Like in order for me to get big, I'm eating, mm. eating cakes and, and pastries, <laughs> and, you know, pies and shit, fried well, chicken, a lot of fatty animals in the rainforest. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, but you're not gonna be catching them things. I know, I know. You're gonna be losing weight catching them things, <laughs> <laughs> so it's gonna even out. <laughs> so you catching a uh, mongoose? Okay. I don't know what the hell in the rain. <laughs> okay, so maybe, maybe it's like maybe it's like a tribe, or maybe it was like a a tribe of fat motherfuckers. <laughs> 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 They eating people. <laughs> <laughs> they eating people. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, man. Because I'm just thinking about, like, all the fat rulers back in our time. I just think of, like, a whole bunch of fat kids. But, you know, like, yeah. like Incan warriors. You know what I'm saying? Like, Incan warrior time. You know what I mean? Like, you know, if they were fat rulers, if there were a whole bunch of fat obese kids running around in the rainforest. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Maybe. Yeah. Well, let's go, Jimmy. Let's see what you got, man. All right. It's very nice to be here in Montreal. What a wonderful city. I, I don't know about you, but I'm excited about seeing it finished. <laughs> I'm from Great Britain, and what makes Britain great is our ability to laugh at ourselves. And when I say ourselves, I mean other people. <laughs> and when I say laugh, I mean invade. <laughs> hey, the Queen's still on your money. We got you. Uh, <laughs> just saying. <laughs> Someone came up to me and said, I thought you'd be younger. I said I was. (laughs) Um, Are there any any groupies in? Any gag, hags, any chuckle f***s? He's a jungle fuck. The the, the reason I ask is because if any young ladies come up to me after the show looking for sex, I'm going to have to disappoint you. (laughs) I mean, we can have sex. (laughs) (laughs) It's going to be quite disappointing. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> There's something I don't understand about a woman's G-spot. I can't quite put my finger on it. <laughs> I can drive a woman wild with my tongue. Would you, would you like me to demonstrate? No problem at all. Happy to help. Pay attention, gentlemen. All the action is taking place here. If you want to drive a woman wild with your tongue. <laughs> Have you put on weight? <laughs> <laughs> Years ago, this woman introduced handcuffs into our sexual relationship when she... Um, Call the police. (laughs) I said, I'll come quietly. (laughs) If you strangle yourself during sex, it's called auto-erotic asphyxiation. If you do it to someone else, it's called a serious sexual assault. (laughs) The thing I worry about when I hear kids in the third world are working 18 hours a day to make my sneakers is when are they going to get the chance to finish my laptop. (laughs) A lot of these are jokes, sir. Don't pay. You look genuinely upset. (laughs) Flooding. (laughs) Flooding is pretty bad. I saw a woman on the news in her flooded kitchen crying. I thought, crying's not helping. (laughs) If anything, you're making matters worse. 
I got involved in a charity recently. I don't think I come across as the most charitable kind of guy, but I got involved in a charity. And what happened was I was told about it. Well, I overheard people talking about it. And I thought, well, that sounds really interesting. I went away and I Googled it and I got involved. So I'm going to do the same thing for you. I'm just going to tell you what we do. You could just Google it when you get home and get involved. What we're doing is we're sending obese children to the rainforest. Well, you can titter, because I don't mind. We're already seeing incredible results. And if you want to be part of that, it's feedthetigers.com. <laughs> <laughs> I would think about adoption. I don't have kids, but if I had kids, I think I would have them adopted. <laughs> People criticise Madonna, but the kid she adopted, fair trade. <laughs> That's the one that went too far? <laughs> Fair enough. Um, why would you become an Islamic fundamentalist suicide bomber? On the off chance, you might get 72 virgins when you die. <laughs> become a Catholic priest and have them now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll give Jimmy Carr. Thank you very much indeed. Cheers. Good night. Thank you. Oh, man. <laughs> okay. Okay. I like Jimmy Carr. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. A lot of jokes. Yeah, he's, he's like, like um, he's with Mitch, Mitch yeah, Mitch Mitchettberg, yeah. and he's kind of dark like Anthony Jeselnik. Yeah, 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 you know what I'm saying? Not yeah. like as dark as Anthony Jeselnik. No, 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 no. But, yeah. but the kids in the you know kids building the laptop. <laughs> Fucked up. Ah <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Ah, oh, what was that? What is it? He said, why, why, why the Islamic? When, <laughs> when, said, when you get when you get seventy two wives in oh, the yeah. afterlife, you can have them now. Seventy two virgins, yeah, in, 72 the, virgins. in the afterlife, you, you can have them now. Practice Catholic. <laughs> <laughs> You're Catholic. Damn. Oh man. Okay, Jody. Okay, Jody. Yeah, he's funny. Yeah, he's man. He's funny. He's yeah. funny from Great Britain. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cross the pond, man. Across okay. the pond. But he's in Montreal. But of Canada. Canada? Yeah, man. Right above us. Yeah, man. Is it? Is it all is it is it always cold in Canada? I think so, man. Okay. I think so. Like you know, I think every time I've seen a video of somebody in Canada, they had a jacket on. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's just like it's like, it's like New York. I thought New York was always cold too. But no, it's not. You know yeah, I mean? New York has summer. summer. Yeah, summer's a close to there. Yeah. You know what I mean? But you're right. Every time I see anything to do with Canada, somebody has a jacket on. Or in Russia, somebody has a jacket on or a coat. So. Yeah.